everyone in this video we will be talking about force now in the previous video we have looked at several examples like kicking a football pushing a trolley closing and opening a drawer and lifting a dumbbell in all such examples what we did is we imparted force to the body and as a result of which the body has started moving for example here kicking a football we, when we kick a football the football starts moving when we push the trolley the trolley starts moving and we need to close and open the door by pushing or pulling when we want to open the door we need to pull it and we want to close it then we need to push it now in all these examples what we came to know is that the motion of an object requires an external agency and that external agency is what we called as force now by performing all such activities like kicking pushing pulling hitting and lifting what we did is we have applied or imparted or exerted force onto a body and as a result of which the body starts moving so what we have done is we have applied force and that has made the body to move so the cause of motion here is force when we apply force the force sets the body at rest to motion and again uh, if the body is already in motion then we can even use force in that case we can apply force to the body in order to the body to stop now from this observation we can define this force in simple terms as a push or pull on a body is called force and also a force is something that causes change in the state of rest or motion of an object now a force can also change the speed of an object and also change its direction the force can uh, speed up the object's motion or it can slow down the pace of an object or, or or it can also change the direction of a moving body now let us say a man is pushing this heavy box for some time and after some times he has stopped pushing it now in this case he has applied force to this heavy box in this direction and the body has started moving in the direction of force in this case now the man has applied some amount of force to the body in order for it to move so here we see that the force that the man has applied to the box has a particular amount that is what we call as the magnitude the amount of force is what we call as magnitude and he has applied this amount of force this magnitude of force in a particular direction that is this direction towards me and therefore we say that this force also has a direction so whenever uh, we come across a physical quantity which has magnitude as well as direction we call that uh, that physical quantity as a vector quantity so here force is a vector quantity because it has both magnitude and direction now we measure this force in terms of a unit which is called newton now let us look at the effects of force that is what a force can do to a body the first effect of force is that a force can move a stationary body a stationary body means a body which is at rest so a force can move a body which is at rest for example a football when it is at rest and if you want to move it then we will kick it and by kicking we apply a force in this direction let's say then the ball starts moving so a football moves on application of force and in the direction of the force the direction in which we apply force the ball starts moving in that direction now the second effect of force is that a force can stop a moving body now suppose a body is already moving and we want to stop it then even in that case we need to apply a force on the body to stop it for example when a car is moving we apply the brakes of the car in order for it to stop and those brakes what they do is they apply force to the moving car in the opposite direction of motion and this makes the car to eventually come to rest so here a moving car stops on application of brakes by which we apply force onto the car in the opposite direction of motion now the third effect of force is that 
a force can change the speed of a moving body now suppose a football is rolling with a particular speed and we want it to move with a even much greater speed then what we need to do is we need to kick it harder again again and again so here i have an example which will demonstrate the, uh, this effect of force um, first of all let's say we have a body which falls down to the ground now in this case the motion of the body is in the downward direction and we know that why did the body has fallen down to the ground it is because of the force of gravity of the earth which pulls all the bodies on it towards its center so here the force that comes into play is the force of gravity which is in downward direction so the uh, direction of motion of the body is along the force of gravity that is in downward direction and in this case uh, this is the reason why the speed of the ball increases which means that when we drop a ball from a certain height the speed that it has at that instant of time is much much smaller than the speed that it it has before touching the ground so the speed of this body has eventually increased a lot just before reaching the ground now let us look at another situation where a body is just a ball is just thrown upwards with a certain force now here the motion of the body is uh, to towards the upper direction that is upwards and the force of gravity is still in the downward direction that is this now here what happens is the motion i mean the direction of motion of the body is opposite to the force of gravity so in this case what happens is the speed of the ball decreases and it eventually becomes zero when it reaches the topmost point so it has a speed uh, when it is thrown from the ground and that speed goes on decreasing and when it becomes zero at the end the ball stops for a while and then again it falls down so here we have looked at the same force that is the force of gravity which has resulted in two uh, different consequences that is increase in the speed of the body and decrease in the speed of the body just because of the direction of motion of the body when the motion direction was along the force of gravity the force of gravity has resulted in an increased velocity but when the direction of motion of the body was in opposite direction to the force of gravity this same force of gravity has resulted in a decrease in the speed of the body so this was all about the third effect of force now let's move ahead to the fourth one so here the fourth effect of force is that a force can change the direction of a moving body now suppose a body is moving in a particular direction and if if it wants to change its direction then it has to apply some force some force has to come to play in order for it to change the direction otherwise it will continue moving in the same direction forever for example here hitting a tennis ball with a racket now what happens is when the tennis ball strikes the racket here and this racket applies a force onto this tennis ball this tennis ball changes its do, uh, direction in the opposite direction it starts moving towards the opposite team so this is a good example of showing that the force can change the direction of a moving body now the fifth effect of force is that a force can change the shape and size of a body the example for this can be making when we make a dough out of a wheat flour then what we do is we uh, constantly apply force in all particular all directions whichever we want to to make the dough softer and all that so here what we do is whenever we apply force in a certain direction it leads to a change in the shape of the dough now when the dough is ready what we do is we prepare chapatis out of it and for that we need to roll it first now when we roll it with a rolling pin what we do is we again apply force to the dough and this leads to the change in shape of the dough it becomes flat and it's it gets ready for the chapati so this is an example where we see the sh uh, change in shape and size of the body with the application of force so in this video what we have learned is we have learned that force is a vector quantity it is defined as the push or pull of an object in simple terms 
and also we have looked at several effects of force where, where it could uh, move a body which is at rest or it could stop a body which is already moving or it could change the direction of the body or shape or size of the body etc. So with this we have come to an end of this video and I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.